<laughs> They've got a wild tobacco bush here that's not suitable for spraying. It's too tall, it's got hardly any leaves. So we're going to um, cut, straight paint it. <laughs> um, so I'll get my saw out. It's a bit too big for my loppers. Cut it off down close to the ground. It's very important to have it down close to the ground. And then we give some herbicide on the cut stump. Because this is quite a big, big stump here, I won't trust that that's enough to, um, to um, die. So I'm going to scrape this down a bit to give it a bit more surface area and get a bit more of a successful kill. I may give that a bit of a herbicide on there as well. That should be enough to kill that. And if by chance it does re-sprout, it's not the end of the world because we'll spray it in our follow-up. Here we've got a winter senna. It's mixed in with a tangle of lantana here. It's unlikely to go down with a spray. So we're going to target this one by cut, scrape and paint. It's a bit of a multi-trunk one. We cut it off low and close to the ground and we can uh, give those cut stumps a bit of a herbicide and just beat them up a little bit to get a bit more surface area and uh, give those a squirt as well. Yeah, that's out of the way. Hi guys, um, we're just treating a bit of devil's fig in here. Uh, there's a few of the smaller ones I've just cut and pasted or sprayed. And then Des is coming behind just to drill these ones because if we start dropping them, they're going to be in the way and won't be able to get in here. So yeah, just knocking out probably some of these little ones. Just spraying the cuts. So. But it's a bit of a rainforest problem. So. Mm. <laughs> I'm just coming in. Um, Troy's prepared some of these devil's figs ready to uh, drill and inject. He's made a bit of space around them, so I'm just going to start drilling them. Um, the bigger ones that aren't suitable to cut down. They're pretty nasty, they're covered in thorns and um, sometimes it might be more user friendly to leave them standing rather than tripping over branches covered with nasty prickles. They're not, they're not giant ones, so they only need a, a few holes in them. This one's pretty big. I'd probably put three holes in this one and fill them up. It's important to fill them promptly after you've drilled the hole for best results. I might give it one more up there. And then we've got a tobacco. Make sure you're killing a, a weed, not an oldie. Check twice and kill one. Good. Plenty more where that came from. <laughs>